Um, ever since I've become a member of Congress, I've been the most attacked member of Congress in United States history. Oh, poor Marjorie. The snowflake is under attack once again. Yes, Marjorie Taylor Greene claims she is the most attacked congressperson in the history of America. Well, Marjorie, I'm afraid that's just not true. Whether we look at ancient history or recent history, you are by far not the most attacked. Perhaps the dumbest, except you're up against Boebert, and that's a tough call. And then Herschel Walker may soon join the Senate. I don't really think you can compete with him either. Well, okay, it's Senate, not Congress, but you get what I'm saying. He is from Georgia, so it may be close. I don't know, but Marjorie, most attacked? No, I don't think so. As a matter of fact, your story was debunked by a child. Yes, a child knows more about history than you do. Then again, children know more about most things than you do. Good luck with this one, Marjorie. You are not the most attacked. You do know that in 1856, Representative Preston Brooks tried to kill Senator Charles Sumner on the floor of the Senate with a cane. Nearly beat him to death. You knew that, right? Right. Uh, did you know that Representative Gabby Giffords, former representative, sorry, uh, wife of current Senator Mark Kelly, she was shot in the head by one of her constituents. Okay, Marjorie, my little snowflake, you might not remember the story of Charlie Sumner being attacked on the floor of the Senate and nearly beaten to death with a cane. I will admit, I didn't remember that right off, but as soon as the, ch the kid mentioned it, I was like, oh yeah, I do remember that story. But Gabby Gifford, how could you not remember Gabby Gifford? It's recent history. The woman was shot. She was shot in the head while making a public appearance, and then she became an anti-gun person. You know, the kind of person you hate, the kind of person who understands that maybe we don't need machine guns in grocery stores, and maybe we shouldn't sell a gun to every idiot who wants one. Is that it? Is that it, Marjorie? You don't want to offend the idiots, so you pretend that Gabby Gifford was never attacked? I honestly don't know what it is, but it is amazing, absolutely amazing, that you would consider yourself the most attacked because you've been called a few names, dumb, hypocritical, uninformed, a liar, and a few words we can't use in polite company. Sorry, Marjorie. That just doesn't compare with being shot in the head. And now I have another one for you, Marjorie. And this one you may enjoy because it was a radical Republican. That's right. A radical Republican was attacked in Georgia. A radical Republican Georgia representative was attacked, not just attacked, dragged out of his bed and beaten. This is the kind of thing you say the Democrats are going to do all the time, right? The Democrats are going to drag people out of their bed and take away their guns. Yeah, Marjorie, this actually happened to a radical Republican. His name was Abram Colby. Now, here's the bad news. He was black. That's right. This was 1872, back when the Republicans were the good guys and the Democrats were the racists. Ask McConnell. He was there. Of course, he was a Democrat back then, but he was there. Abram Colby was dragged out of his bed, beaten by the Klan for being a radical Republican and trying to organize people to vote. Wow, does any of this sound vaguely familiar? Definitely sounds worse than being called a name. You knew this stuff before you made that claim, right? Right. You are either a horrible person or stupid or, or both. Yeah, I'm going to go with both. So there you have it, Marjorie. There you have it. A hundred and fifty years ago, a radical Republican was dragged out of his bed and beaten by the Klan. Why? For his beliefs. He believed in things like freedom and equality. And you know what? You know why they dragged him out and beat him? Because he wouldn't take any money. Can you imagine that, Marjorie? A representative that wouldn't take money? That's right. They offered him $5,000 to send someone in his place to the legislature to vote. And he said, no, he's going to go make his vote. And he got to speak before Congress after the beating. And he said the beating changed his life. But you know what he didn't do? He didn't whine. He didn't cry. And he didn't say, I'm the most attacked person ever in Congress. And he might have been, except for Gabby Gifford, who was shot in the head. Sorry, Marjorie. You're not even in the top five. You're just another hypocritical liar. You know what you should do? You should go check on your PPP loan. Oh, wait, that's right. You didn't have to pay back your PPP loans, unlike the kids with student loans. Here's another idea. Shut the hell up.